All right, guys, good evening. Um, <clears throat> still working. This is the new um, AEM wideband, uh, and my tuner was, it's, all, it's not working right. So, <clears throat> um, I called AEM, and they gave me a couple tests to do, which I did last night, but I'm just going to go through and run through it with you as well so you can see what's going on. Um, but I am working with AEM on a warranty replacement. Um, but I want to have these tests that they asked me to do. They want to see how it uh, reacts in free air, which obviously this is here, and it is connected, as you can see. Um, and then I'm actually, I've tried two different sensors. This, the Innovate that I took out of the car uses the same sensor, the Bosch LSU 4.9. So there's the one that's um, obviously wired into the car. And then um, I went and I'm also testing to see if there's a difference with the Innovate one, which <clears throat> we know worked before. So, um, I've already done this test. They both react the same way. So, I'm just going to show you what the, what the gauge does in free air. <clears throat> and then he asked me to um, do what they, they call the rag test. Or So, we do one. This should basically, in free air, this should read fully all fully lean. No presence of gas. And then spray um, some brake cleaner. Spray some brake clean on a rag and wrap it around here. And it should read full rich, right? So, <clears throat> I'll perform both of those tests for you real quick, so you can see what this car does, and what this, uh, what's going on with this sensor, and why um, I'm working on getting a replacement from AEM. Okay, so this is this is free air. Sorry, guys, just trying to do all this by yourself. And here is what the gauge is doing. It's just going through its so, yeah. free air should not be 13.6, but you'll see it's it's gonna start wavering and ping pong around and, until it gets to full lean. Uh, and again, sorry for the door chime. Let's see if I can put my finger in there. So this is just uh, this is just in free air. But another thing I noticed, and the reason I've got my my infrared gun is, um, you know, this this thing the sensor should be heating up also, and I'll put the heat gun on it, and it's it's not heating up. So I really think that's probably the issue here. But as you can see, this thing it's just freaking out. There you go. And eventually it will stop at full lean, but you get the idea. Now let's uh, wrap it with. Let's wrap it with the. Let's wrap it and douse it with some. Douse the rag with some brake clean. Wrap the sensor in it. And I'll even put the shoestring around it. But, so that's fully wrapped and with brake clean. About as doused as you can get. And we'll do the same test. And you'll see it does the same thing. So this will do exactly the same thing. Starts out at 13.6, and again, it should be fully rich with um, covered in brake clean. And it's just going to do the same thing. It's kind of ping-ponging back and forth until it gets to full lean. And that's with the sensor uh, wrapped with a towel soaked to brake clean. So, obviously, not working correctly. And the 
the sensor is not heating up 70 degrees. I think these things should be heating up to, you know, 150, 200 degrees or so. So 60 degrees, 59 degrees. So I think there's definitely an issue with the gauge. But anyway, we'll, uh, we'll work with AEM on getting a warranty replacement and go from there. Thanks, guys.